In a previous tip, we talked about locating plastic pipes. Now, plastic pipe is non-conductive, so it won't carry signal energy from our transmitter. But a metal fish tape will conduct. So I put one in the pipe, and I'll try to locate that. One transmitter lead is connected to the fish tape, and the other is grounded to a metal drainage pipe. The fish tape needs a return path to ground, but the plastic pipe is an insulator. High frequencies can pass through insulators, so I'll use 33 kilohertz, and I'll use the transmitter's highest power setting. The pipe is dry, so I added some water to help improve the signal. Now, if you look at the depth right here, you can see that it's shallow. But if we move just a little bit, the depth gets much larger and the signal strength decreases. So looking at that, it looks like the fish tape ends right here. So I exposed the pipe, cut a section out, and we are at the end of the fish tape, right at this 45. So in this case, I was able to locate a non-conductive plastic pipe by putting something conductive inside it and locating that. Your success with this will vary depending on the depth of the pipe and the soil conditions in the area, but if you have the equipment, give it a shot. As always, if you have more questions on the equipment or how to use it, visit the product pages on rigid.com or stop by the Sea Snake Support website.